Welcome to the best part of your day, player. We're at Niganti Golf Course, and Freaky Steve shows us how to play this game using what is known as the Down of Steve. In the last video of Steve, he was hitting a banana fade, but the Dow of Steve tells us to work on our clubs away from the course and reintroduce them when they are ready. And ready, his driver is an uncaged animal. Great shot. The greens on the left of your screen and the carry is in the mid 200s but we're never getting there with any club. This would be a stupid shot, not a hero shot. The Dow of Steve tells us to lay up to a comfortable distance. Yep, that's okay, that's, that's all. Right. Oh, solid. What a man. Great shot. What a player. Three, three side, huh? Unsure where to hit the ball, our hero takes instruction from his lovely guide, Meow. And like a well-dressed machine, he hits a baby draw ski right into position A. The Dower of Steve Ooh, says we man, must know, one. accept and play for our shot shape. This green is a massive 80 yards long. The pin's on the front part of it, so Steve works out the distance to clear the bunker in front of the green so he knows how much space is between the pin and the edge of the green. This info frees his mind of any worry when hitting the shot. He can commit to it 100% and in the Dow of Steve, anything less than 100% is 0%. That looks damn good. That looks damn good. Good car. Steve's uh, also hit a monster here. A little bit short, right? Coming way up the slope. I mean, this green is probably two of him. So he's about six foot. He's about 12 feet above him. Got lots of green to work with, so better miss than mine. Mine have the side slopes. Just need to get it up. Middle of the green rolling. Oh, he's knifed it. He's knifed it. Here's where Steve is a in any match. He's been around the block, and the Dow tells him not to follow a bad shot with a stupid shot. Just hit a good shot. Avoid the stupid shot. One good shot can save the hole. Good save. It's not easy to hit a green with a three wood, especially on courses you've never played. Steve asks the caddy if it's safe on the right side. He asks this because he knows he will fade this club and wants to identify a backstop on the right side without incurring a penalty shot in case there is water there. That's a worker. That's a worker. Quite it, man. There is the slope that would stop the ball. But in hindsight, if we knew there was so much green on the left, Steve would have hit something onto that position. 
perhaps a four iron, and settle for a long two putt. What do you reckon? You reckon the best course in the Thailand so far? Well, I'll tell you something. I haven't played quite. I haven't played here. Many better than this. Oh, yeah. Niganti is such a temptress. The par fives play at a distance that give anyone a chance at a good time. Steve had to give it a go. It was right in his upper range without much danger to him. He's not going to hit a draw with his club. He knows it. So the dangerous bunker on the left don't mean anything to him. On the right side, there is a bunker, but it's a much simpler one to get out of. Yeah, I should be fine out there. Opening up the green. In hole, in the hole. Oh, oh what, a, uh, what a short game. Set me up. Neither Steve nor I knew about the massive yeah. bunkers on the left. He Keep went for the through. shot and accidentally played it out to the right. Luckily, he did because this one bunker shot you don't want to have from 40, 60 or 80 yards onto a raised green. Just look at this bunkering, players. It's very rare to find this around these parts. This is brilliant. Steve, and this, this green is tiny with three, three tiers. Steve's got a bit of a challenge there, from the rough, over the bunkers. Actually got quite a bit of green. He can be quite aggressive here. I hope he knows that. He can come all the way back to where I am. But you don't want to go in that bunker short. What a design. Yeah, he's got that. That's great. Oh, just on. Good shot, Steve. Steve will not be hitting this three-quarter. He'll be flogging the life out of this thing. Four iron smashed. Steve's turned into a total savage and putts inside six feet. The Tao of Steve says to practice putts inside six feet so it takes pressure off your chipping game and increases your confidence on the first putts. Okay, man. Okay. We must follow the tenet the that there is no hero shot. It is merely a stupid shot. Steve almost never plays stupid shots. He's a wise tactician and looks to set up his next shot in a favorable position to still hit the green in three where he can make a putt. There is no room to go on tilt and golf. Remain optimistic that you can always hold that putt. Oh, that's delightful. That's the right club. I think you're gonna be happy with that. I think you're gonna be. That's a drive. Oh, okay. That's a drive. Yeah, but 
Okay, buy coconut, yes. samurai, yeah, Ch shamai. Thank you. Okay, it's okay. That's gonna work, Steve. Oh, what a shot. Pulled it a bit. <laughs> Pulled it a bit, but no, six foot left. <laughs> Jeez, look at that view. Holly Fisher, when he, uh, remember watching the web with when he, uh, can't he sing. Look at this hole, players. Look at it. The green is on an oversized anthill. The huge grass bunker on the left would leave you chipping from a poor lie toward the water. The bunker on the right is so far below the green, you'll have a tough time getting out of it. It's not long, but it's treacherous. What a hole. Not many courses like this around, wow. Freaky Steve always reaches for the nine iron. He only chips with the sand wedge when he absolutely has to. The Dow of Steve stipulates pitching wedge and nine iron will solve more people's chipping problems and throwing away the 60 degree wedge is a virtuous pursuit. Oh, great shot, man. You always gotta wait for that, the club you want, man. Knowing you're a beast inside six feet means you can give your first putts a good wrestle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, what an up and down. What a man. No, Pern, my mid door. Wow. He hits a great driver off the tee, but hits it too far and the ball rolls into the rough. It's disappointing, but we are not allowed to throw a hissy fit and give up. We know every problem is a chance for a solution we never knew we had. He hits it into the fairway, calculating where his best approach would be from and hits it to that distance. He's got it to the 100 yard mark, which is his sweet spot. But then we always have a plan until we get punched in the mouth. A chunked approach with a wedge in hand is something to send most Sandwich. people into a negative downward spiral, but not when the Dow is followed to the letter. Steve knows, just get it on the green and make a putt. Keep fighting. Oh, you're shot, never out please. of a fight until you say you're out of a fight. The Dow of Steve dictates that you know you're a player. You're here to play. You're good enough to take it seriously enough. So seriously play. Clear he's got to be very specific with this layup here because there's water there in the front, water bordering the entire right side of the green. So he's going to be calculating here to get the perfect layup. Great shot. That's a great shot, Steve. That's a superb shot. Oof, long, eh? Yeah, I thought it might be. Got it through the wind there. That's a nice putt. That's a great putt. The Dow of oh, Steve says, day. never complain about a par. Pars are great scores. Take them and GTFO. Come on, give us a hole in one, man. Great shot. Spin a little bit down there. 
Steve uses a 9-iron more than any other club around the green, any chance he can. Drop that 60-degree wedge if it causes more drama for you than it helps you. The driver and the 60-degree wedge are the first two clubs to interrogate when you are auditing your golf bag. The Dow of Steve tells us not to underestimate the course. Here, Steve thought, ah, this is the first boring hole on the course. Perfect. Up to this point, he had declared this course in his top five or six in the world, and he's played every single British Open course on the roster. How wrong he was on this hole, though. Wait till you see the green and what happens when you miss the green on the wrong side. The Dow of Steve says, play the course, don't let it play you. The drop off over here is unreal. It's like a little valley and then up onto a tier. If you were where the caddy is, is where my ball is. If I had been a bit shorter and a bit right of that, maybe there, that ball would just catch that slope and you're gonzo. So this, this green is very big. But the playable space is actually just here on the left. Probably about 40% of the green is playable. Unbelievable. If you're down here on the left, on the right, let's say you caught the slope, about three feet below the hole here, easily. Unbelievable. Great hole. Now, players, we have this huge drop off behind the hole here. If Steve goes past this cup, eight feet, he's coming all the way down behind me, behind the camera and he's gonna be in big trouble. It's a good shot, but that's gone. That's gone, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Steve getting American in the background with the oh my God. So this is the knock-on effect of hitting a, a, hitting a shot that maybe doesn't come off right. You know, to, for him to just like leave it way short and just get on the front of the green here. He's going to have a putt to he could make. Now he's gone off the green and that leads to another difficult shot because this is straight up the hill and then downhill about five yards before the pin had come straight downhill. Now he's going to go way past. Watch this because this is what happens. The Dow tells us, hey you, you are going to drop shots. There's no way around it. Embrace it, then do better the next hole. That's why we have handicaps. Good stroke. Great shot. Steve hits the wedges at the range his own way indeed, but he is often very in tune with his game inside 100 yards, getting up and down from inside 100 like a savage. This is the scoring zone, and even when he gaffed one on the par 5, he still harnessed the Steve and got up and in for the par. Get up! Get up! Zen master Deluxe Steve tells us the game inside a hundred yards is more important than anything else. Practice it. If you <laughs> argue, thing. well, you're wrong. Mainly, the Tao of Steve promotes a life of being who you are, not who someone else wants you to be. Steve has always been his own player, does what he likes, when he likes, how he likes. On the golf course, you're either playing or you're getting played. Play your game your way. Anything less than 100% commitment is 0% commitment. This is the best golf experience I have ever had. Course, caddies, food, hospitality and facilities. Hope you will come back to be delighted by Niganti again soon. Niganti have just raised the bar. 11 out of 10 must play. If you're ever in Bangkok, if you only play one course, 
פליי ניגנטי. <מח> <מח>